Here's your weather on the threes. Temperatures running in the 50s across Acadiana. Here we got time for one last look at what's going to be a very, very wet forecast moving forward through the middle parts of this week. 52 in New Iberia, 51 in Lafayette. You've got the upper 40s between Ville Platte and Alexandria. Jennings coming in at about 54. Winds right now out of the east at three miles an hour. A little bit of cloud cover working its way here into the area, and we will gradually see more and more clouds as we get further and further into the afternoon. Overcast skies expected late tonight, and that starts what's going to be a series of very wet days. Each and every day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week, we do have the outside chance of some severe weather. Severe weather is going to stay isolated, but we'll have to watch these storms pretty closely. I think if we do see anything, then uh, you're, you're talking damaging winds got to be probably the biggest issue. Isolated tornadoes will be possible right along the, the edge of the front. And then localized street flooding here. The biggest problem with that is when this comes through tomorrow, it's when a lot of people are heading off to work. So if you drive through a flood prone area, keep in mind you may need to go around or, or you know, take a longer route to get to work, especially if it's really coming down. Now, flooding is not going to be a big widespread issue and anything that, that does start to see water pool up, it shouldn't last too long. But as the water is coming down, I think you may see some issues out there tomorrow. And again, it, it's just kind of arriving at a time and there's a lot of people out on the roads. 75 for your high today. Lows tonight get down to around 60. Clouds arrive in the afternoon. They thicken up as we go through the overnight tonight. Pretty overcast headed into tomorrow. In fact, it's a very, very wet stretch of days. Remember, Remember, we could be dealing with severe weather each and every day. Isolated cases, so it's not going to be a big widespread uh, event like last week. And we may, you know, go days without seeing too much in the way of severe weather. But we are going to be watching for it and watching the radar pretty closely here the next couple of days. Thanks, Daniel. Here